Hello, hello, and welcome back to some more DML. So, you may or may not have noticed, but there is currently a special Farming Fanatic event on in DML, and just on first glance, it just looks like a regular boring event with some gold and stuff as the prize, but you can actually win yourself a new dragon by participating in this event. And so the number one prize in this Farming Fanatic event, so gathering as much food as you can, is the Uncle Sam Dragon. So, you know, we've got more of those uh, Independence Day celebrations and whatever else is going on. But I have never earned this dragon myself. And the Uncle Sam Dragon, he's been available in a few events in the past. But they've all been like weekend style events, you know, leaderboard prizes and stuff like that. But he's a cool epic wind, energy and fire. But he's not a dragon you'd use on your team, of course. He's not like a divine or some crazy legendary, but... I love the fact that they have finally started bringing out some more different events. So, for example, when do we actually get a Farming Fanatic event where we actually get a Milestone Reward Dragon rather than just a leaderboard prize dragon? Because, I mean, if you come number one on the leaderboards, it doesn't actually help you that much, because you get 45,000 food as a reward. And, I mean, if we have to collect 10 million food during the event, obviously 45,000 isn't even that much. So I think the actual prizes for winning air quotes this time are sort of wrong, to be honest. But a lot of people have been saying, but it's impossible to hit 10 million points, isn't it? Uh, it depends on your player level, but it is altered depending on what your actual level is, like most events are. So, you know, some people the goal is 2 million, some people the goal is 6 million. For me, it's 10 million. And you can actually do this just by planting food. And it is possible, but you have to be using the hour-long food with the spring cherries. And you have to be planting those like 18 times a day. So realistically, just collecting food through your farms isn't going to cut it. So the most obvious way, and the easiest way to do it, of course, is to do your daily map fights. And I've personally already gone through, done all of them. So, you know, heroic mode fights, regular map fights, just go through, do all of them as soon as they come up, and you can very easily make your way through the event. And plus, you know, if you had any leftover food or anything else, that will help out. And obviously, if you've got any Kronos speed-ups that you can use, either, you know, forging stuff, or just his regular, you know, two-day-long cooldown, whatever you've got it reduced down to, will obviously help you out quite a lot. So, this comes down... Again, as per usual, to what is the best food? And the answer is the one hour spring cherries and the six hour squarey berries. That will always be the case. They've always been the best. I keep saying it, and it's true. So make sure you're using those if you want to have the best chances you can to actually win him. I'm pretty confident we'll be fine to get him ourselves. And have you seen my hatchery right now? Like, literally, look at how disgusting this is. Three mystic dragons. That's just so annoying, because imagine if we didn't have VIP on, they would be three completely different dragons. Ugh. I hate, hate seeing mystic dragons. It is like, genuinely, one of the worst things in this game to actually accidentally breed. There we go, we bred a bee dragon. At least it's different. What else do we get? Another half an hour breeding time. That's fine. I don't care about the half an hour breeding times. I do care about... The, uh, the 15 hour long hatching times on these stupid mystic dragons, however. That is something I have an issue with. I guess it is that only our own fault for having that level of VIP, but it doesn't mean it's not annoying. Definitely not. And, uh, you know, another thing that's gonna help us out with this Uncle Sam event is obviously the fact that we've had Farm Frenzy on for the last day. So, they obviously put those two on at the same time. That was obviously not a mistake. So, thank you for actually bringing the Frenzy events back, because it's been quite a while since we've seen them. And the boss challenge event is also ending soon, and as you can see, I have given up. So, <laughs> um, I'm sorry, I, I just can't force myself to do it. And I just don't have any other blue map fights to do at the moment, because I've already done them all. 
But on the plus side, we're getting a decent amount of food so that we can feed up at Archangel Dragon. Look at that. He's already at level 60 now. Beautiful. Love it. But since we don't have any map fights to do yet, we should probably just go ahead and do some enchantment fights. When in doubt, do enchantment fights. Oh, and we should put our Archangel on our team here, actually. Because he's not enchanted to level 3, he won't be stronger than our Comet Dragon yet. But... Oh, actually, is he... Oh, he might be one level, or like the same level. They're like exactly the same sort of... I guess, uh, level overall, because enchantment adds about two levels to your dragon. So, for example, if we've got Andy at level 80, he's actually level 246, level 88-ish. Because, you know, you've got four stars, so he's actually closer to level 88, closer to 90 than 80. So, even though our Comet Dragon is, like, exactly the same as the Archangel that we have, we still have... Another pretty high level dragon that we can add to our enchantment team now. Because, you know, we've got a lot of level 45s and they do help out. But sometimes they're just a couple of levels too short of being able to finish off a free uh, run, I guess you'd call it. So we'll pop him in and we will pop our clay dragon in there as well. And then we are pretty much set up with as good as we could get currently. So it's really not that bad. So here we have a level 45 guy. So we'll pop our clay dragon in. And then we'll see what level his other team members are. Another 45? This is feeling positive. You know, it's so random just going into the enchantment leagues. Because it's like, you never know. This guy ranked at 1200 could have a team of full level 30s. Or they could have a team of full level 80s. You just never know. Level 60. So you see, our Archangel is getting close to being able to clear this. So it's unfortunate that we couldn't do it with just our clay dragon here. But what's his final dragon? Level 68. Okay then. He just randomly has a Zeus dragon in with all of the toot. Like the others. His other dragons were pretty low and then he just randomly has a Zeus dragon in there for some reason. So that's kind of unfortunate, but you can see that if all the dragons were like level 50-ish, level 55-ish, uh, Archangel Dragon would have been fine. So just thinking about your actual team going into enchantment fights will help you out quite a lot. There are a few people that just go into it mindlessly and then complain that it's too difficult and... Whatever else they want to complain about. But you can make it easier on yourself. Definitely. It's like how I always, always used to complain about the dungeon. Oh, that's annoying. And then one day, I just sw swapped around the order that my dragons were in. And then I never had an issue with the dungeon ever again. It was literally that simple. I just needed to rearrange which dragon was in the first slot. I think I used to have an Earth Dragon in the first slot, and instead I popped my um, Wind Dragon in the first slot instead, and I never had another issue with the dungeon. It was surreal. I was like, how did I have so many issues trying to do that when all I had to do this entire time was literally change the order of two dragons and that was it? It was pretty depressing, if nothing else, to be completely honest. Very, very depressing. Because it's like, you know, going through those long, drawn-out dungeon fights, day after day, failing, and, you know, not getting the rewards at the end because you fail one fight. And then that's all you needed to do. Change one dragon. But, you know, if, if my failings can help someone else at least, you know, look at themselves and go, Oh, maybe I could do that with my team then. You know, I hope that that helps. I'm not saying that's going to be the case for everyone because maybe your dragons just suck too much to actually beat the dungeon if they're actually like the same level as your dragons. I mean, we clear the dungeon with just three dragons. You know, two for the first lot of fights, one dragon for the second lot. But so many com people complain that the dungeon is like impossible. 
and uh, I don't know, I'm thinking maybe if they just swapped around the dragons that they use, use their clan dragon power a little bit wiser or something, maybe that would help them out. But, you know, unless I see your game, I see your team, and literally see what you do, obviously. All, all I'm doing is guessing. But, I mean, I have gone through arena or just strong dragons in general and dungeon tips and stuff like that before and I still think it's all relevant but oh this is actually quite a high level fight look at this level 80 well nearly why well, you got such high level dragons over here my dude either way they're not gonna do anything to us so not that it really matters that much Rest in peace, you poor dragons. Speaking of which, since I actually got my three level 80s, I have pretty much not done any arena fights. You'd think it would be the other way around. It's like, yay, you finally have your full team of level 80s that you needed to do the arena. Oh yeah, I'm, I'm not gonna, uh, not gonna use them, by the way. Yeah, good idea. I'm glad that we managed to get another lot of food in before this uh, farm frenzy actually ended. That was really nice timing, actually. So like I said, pop in the spring cherries every hour, come back. That's if you're not busy. If you are, like, at school for six hours or work for, like, eight hours, just pop in the six-hour squarries. When you come back, pop in the hour-long food in the meantime. You will be fine. Um... And make sure you're doing your daily map fights. We're already at 4 million. We've got a day and a half left. I'm pretty confident we'll be fine. But, you know, for now, best of luck. I hope you can get your hands on this um, intriguing little dragon. And until next time, I will see you then.